We are back everybody. Chris from Team Aquascape got the rest of the gang. We are getting ready to head down to the Fort Lauderdale area to meet up with Blake from Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch for three projects as part of our winter retreat. You guys ready for this? Let's go! We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. All right, so as you can see, we've got our YouTube van pulled in our shop. We just got done with our sandbox display, and uh, now it's time to load up our vehicles. We've got an enormous amount of stuff. All of this, all of that, plus that, okay. and that, and that, and then the two guys plus myself. So we're gonna take two vehicles down there. We're gonna take my F-150, and then we've got our YouTube van, which is a moving billboard. I'm not sure how fast it's gonna be moving, but it's definitely gonna be moving. Very, very important that we make sure that we take our time, get everything loaded up that needs to go down there. We don't wanna get caught needing something and not having it. So we're gonna definitely take our time, go through the long list that Ed gave to us as part of what he needs for this build. Anything from all of our hand tools to specialty items. We even have a an enormous, palette that has some looks like some glass glass so I'm not driving with this thing Dan and Jack are so they're responsible if there's a hairline crack in it so we'll get everything loaded up and then hit the road Jack don't you go back no more no more no more no more Well, they did it. I don't know how, but they did it. Maybe you could slide a sheet of paper in there. Nice work, you guys. Uh-huh. All right, boys, you ready? Well, let's go. Yeah, bud. Oh, it's gonna be nice to leave this stuff for a little while. Dan, safe travels, man. We'll see you on the other side. All right, so we are off. We've got Jack back there, Luis. Of course, we have the Leak Whisperer, Gray Wolf, <laughs> Mr. Universe 2001. <laughs> That's when I started. <laughs> but we are getting ready to go. So Dan and Jack are gonna take the YouTube van and uh, we're just gonna kind of caravan out. We're gonna take a cruise around Aqualand, but this is where we're leaving. Which I'm not too terribly sad about leaving. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Did you lose something back there? I had to uh, drain the tank before we road trip. <laughs> Draining the tank and filling it. You got it there, Jack? It's a little cold out. Well, you guys drive safe, all right? Good. Talk to you in a little bit. Okay. Ciao. All Everybody, we're back. Day two, we ended up making it to Marietta, Georgia last night, safe and sound. I'm tired, tie tie. So Josh is gonna take over, he's gonna drive. I'm gonna catch a little more beauty sleep, I think. Maybe, we'll see. All right, let's go.
We got Dan finishing up washing the trucks, getting our small fleet nice and pretty. Gosh, nice job. Very, very important that we roll up in style, eh, Jackie yeah. boy? How, how's this thing treating you guys this trip? Pretty good. Yeah, yeah riding yeah. smooth? Yeah, it is. Been nice going driving last night, so no problems. Nice. It's good to get all the salt and crap off of these yeah, vehicles. When it was funny, Dan and I were coming out of Chicago, it was snowing when we left. Literally, I'm not kidding you, every five minutes I had to use the windshield wiper fluid. And we said we are probably gonna have to stop for windshield wiper fluid before we were gonna have to stop for gas. But we didn't, so that was good. But yeah, these were these were caked in salt, so it's nice to get them all nice and clean. Yeah. Well, it'd just be nice. Roll, roll in with some fresh new vehicles. Yeah. But we're gonna we're gonna finish cleaning up these vehicles and then uh, go grab a bite to eat and then hit the road again. Where are we, Josh? We're in like the, just north of Jacksonville, right? We're west of Jacksonville, south of uh, the border, and 40, 45 minutes south or so. Yeah. We made it to Florida. So early on in day two, go grab some lunch. So what do you think, Texas Roadhouse? You can get yourself a nice big steak or what? Yeah. Of course. There you go. Well, we're gonna wrap up here and then go get a bite to eat. So we'll see you in a bit. Audible. You gonna finish that Chick Fil A sauce? Yeah, I yeah. am. You gonna stick your stick your finger in there and just clean it all up? Every drop. Ready for the next stretch? What do you think? Last stretch. Let's go. Last stretch to where? So we make it to Florida. Florida. It? Florida. So we're gonna be at our stop that we're gonna be at for the next five days. Which is where? Lake Exotic Animal Ranch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jack. <laughs> Which one? Luis, where are we going? North Pole. The North Pole? Yeah, oh, North I Pole. thought. Oh, North of Miami. I thought you said North Pole. I'm like, <laughs> oh, you got jokes now. Yeah. I'm very, very, very excited. That's awesome. I am enthusiastic about it, but it's so fun seeing Luis, seeing Jack. This oh, Jack, actually, of course. You actually care about my opinion for once? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's... No, I'm, I'm just impressed with his enthusiasm. You can see he's a little cranky. He didn't get a good night's sleep. He's a growing boy. He needs a solid 12 hours of sleep a night and a big breakfast, all of which you didn't get today. Explains why you're so crabby. Yeah. <laughs> Should we get out of here? Yes. Right, let's go. Let's go back in the car. I think we're at the right place. Turns out we are. Guys? There he is. What's up, Edgar? How are you? Good, buddy. Awesome, awesome. Glad you made it down. Us too. Us too. <laughs> and you got some valuable cargo. Not only do you have extra equipment, but you got the most important piece. You have the glass panel in the vlog van that's going to actually get mounted along with all the other hardware to this incredible viewing window. We've been following you in your progress down here and this looks incredible. Yeah. This is going to be so killer. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty sweet. So sunken seating area, big boulders coming in here, a couple bench rock, and then we gotta build up everything at least to the top of this. And over here, we're actually gonna build up and we're gonna have a negative edge. So it's gonna be a waterfall cascading down into all those aqua box on that bottom section. Too cool. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty sweet. Still a ton of work that has to happen today before all the contractors get in later on this evening. So this is project one one of three. The three projects, you have Sam's Place, Florida, Iguana and Tortoise Facility, literally five minutes from here. So we breed these monstrous Galapagos tortoises as well as Aldabras, and he's got all types of funky iguanas and things like that. But he has an old swimming pool that is not used in years. The only thing that he has in it is two or three ducks. So he doesn't have filtration, he doesn't chlorinate it anymore, the pumping system doesn't work, etc. So what we're gonna do is exactly what you and I did over at Ohio Fish Rescue a few years ago. We're gonna do an upflow biological filter down in the bottom. We're gonna have a pump vault in one corner. We're gonna recirculate water through the through that wetland filter on the bottom of the pool, push everything up, mm. then on top of the wetland, the only thing different than Ohio Fish Rescue is we're gonna have a series of stack slate urns just to add a little bit of agitation as well as sight and sound to that uh, property. Cool. The other project is gonna be over at Chris's place. He's got an unbelievable property, really, really cool stuff. He's got all types of exotic animals. My favorite are the capuchin monkeys, really amazing little guys. But he's got a, uh, a nice landscape area. He's got a gazebo, outdoor seating area, we want to add some of the stack slate fountains there. Actually, not stack slate. We're going to do the, the scalloped right? urns yep. over at that place, which again, I'm just going to add a little bit of that decorative element to an unbelievable property. So I think what's so cool about this event is the difference in kind of education levels. Exactly. So beginner one, fountainscape, 
That's the uh, blocking and tackling. That's addition and subtraction. So that's the basic stuff that you build everything off of. The second one, that wetland filter, a lot of CACs as well as us. We're getting uh, calls on redoing these swimming pools, turning them into recreation ponds without actually demolitioning the entire pond. And then this one, yeah, just over the top crazy stuff. Viewing panel, monster boulders, negative edge, intake bay, you know, all these different things happening here. We got some big logs that are coming in. So we have a lot of cool stuff that are happening over these three projects. What's the purpose of this enclosure? This is gonna be for two incredible small clawed Asian otters. Amazing little animals are still in bed right now. So gotta keep it down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but they are, they get really active in the evening time. So yeah, so they'll probably be waking up about 10 a.m. And then, then once they're on, they are on. Super active, very intelligent animals. So we wanna create lots of cool little pockets and things for them. So what Blake wants to do is he's gonna add like crayfish and that type of stuff in here because those crayfish are gonna go into all the little crevices and that's going to give these animals the opportunity to actually do what they were to hunt what they've yeah. always done throughout history so this is going to be a perfect habitat for all that stuff and then you can watch all that drama that's happening those guys just searching around looking at all those nooks and crannies and everything looking for their food source and we're going to put in some big logs in here these animals are super agile they're almost like cats not only do they swim incredibly in the water but they're going to be climbing up and around all the logs jumping off it into the water so i'm really looking forward to seeing exactly how they interact with this that's awesome Awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. So plan today is help you here and then yep. get the other two job sites organized. Cool. All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and keep uh, rolling, helping Ed get this project put together and then get the other job sites organized. Everybody, this is it. This is the site of the Fountainscape project here at the Winter Retreat. From the street, this place looks absolutely incredible. I wanna give you just a quick rundown of what it is we are planning to do. So tomorrow, there is gonna be anywhere from 20 to 30, possibly 40 other contractors, all relatively new to the water feature game. And they are going to come tomorrow to learn how to install a Fountainscape, which is an entry level water feature, considering ecosystem ponds, pondless waterfalls, all of the advanced stuff that we are now doing with recreational ponds. So we're gonna have a lot of newbies out here tomorrow, which is probably not unlike a lot of you, a lot of you as our viewers. So I'm hoping that this video, we can really slow it all down, breathe and get a, a really good explanation of the how, the why, the what, all regarding a simple fountainscape so that hopefully you can avoid some of those mistakes when installing them yourselves. Hopefully I can do a good enough job so that the attendees that are here as well will avoid a lot of the mistakes that we have made over the past 30 years of doing water features, especially fountainscapes. So that's my goal. Uh, it's a very simple design. It's three scalloped urns. We've got a large, medium, and a small. We're gonna put all the bells and whistles on this thing the same way we would back in the Chicagoland area as Team Aquascape. This is the space that Chris, the the homeowner has decided on right here and we discussed it and it seems like a very logical place we're gonna nestle it back in this area and through here he's got a gazebo back behind which once he trims up these uh, the croton and some of the other uh, understory stuff he'll be able to have a much better view of the urns but more importantly this is where he and his company like to congregate so I think a fountainscape there in the backdrop will add curb appeal being that this is the front road going past his house but more importantly the sights and sounds of flowing water here here, nestled into the landscape. It makes sense to me. We've got some extra hands today. We've got Gio and Caitlin over here uh, helping out. So Gio is our Southeast sales rep. So he's very, very familiar with the area. And then, so you brought the muscle. So it's not just myself, Jack, Dan, Brian, it's the all of us here at Aquascape as Team Aquascape. So super blessed to have some extra hands. I'm gonna put the camera down because I don't want these guys to make me look like a slouch. So let's get the rest of this stuff unloaded and then I'll check back in with you in the morning when our guests get here and we'll welcome you and them to the project and we'll get going from there. Sound good? excited to be in South Florida for the Aquascape Winter Retreat 2022.